Welcome to The Author's Journey with number one international best-selling author and in-demand publisher, Rebecca Hall Greider. Today, we'll showcase the works of an amazing best-selling author, find out the story behind their book, and explore ways to bring your message powerfully forward. Now, here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome everyone to The Author's Journey. Excited to have you leaning in and joining us today, where we come together and we have candid, real, authentic conversations with best-selling authors. These are authors who have leaned in, they have said yes to bringing their message, their content, their book forward, and it's been received on such a level that it's become a bestseller and above. So we want you to lean in, be able to learn, gain insights from these amazing experts that are leaning into you. So here's how to get the most out of your time with us today. One, take a breath. This is your time. Right. And then grab a piece of paper, a pen, a pencil, whatever your favorite writing utensil is, because we intend to give you great tips and insights that you can take with you. So it's good to be able to capture them, to have a way to write them down. And here's why writing is really important. It actually connects your head, your mind, your thoughts, and your heart And it physically starts to become part of you. You're able to actually integrate that information when you go through the act of physically writing it down. So I'm going to encourage you to do that during our time today. And be open to receive. Be curious. Lean into what is here for you today. I know you're going to love our amazing author, Melissa Jones. And let me just share a little bit about her. So Melissa Jones is an international best-selling author. That means she hit best-selling status in more than one country. She actually hit 21 best-selling categories between the U.S. and Canada. She is the CEO of Visionary of Living he- and Visionary, I should say, of Living Healed Ministries. She is a woman after God's own heart and a survivor of abusive and toxic relationships. She's raised three successful children all on her own while working a demanding corporate job. All of this she has overcome to claim her comeback is now and on a mission to help you claim your powerful comeback. Please lean in and warmly welcome the dynamic, powerful, and fully claimed comeback, <laughs> Melissa Jones. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Rebecca, for that warm welcome. You are so welcome. And I just celebrate all that is unfolding in your life and all that you are leaning into to bring forward and help others claim their comeback too. I just, I love your mission. I love your commitment to that. And I love you and I'm honored to have you on the show today. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And I would love to start our conversation, especially for those who are meeting you for the first time. Would you share why this work is personally so important to you? Absolutely, Rebecca. This work is so important to me because I saw how it has transformed my life and also the lives of those that I've been connected to who've been able to physically see me transform before their eyes. I went from a person who held on to trauma and I did, it, it, it caused me to become stagnant. It caused me to not be able to evolve and be, you know, all that God has called me to be. And so when I, when I would get feedback that they, it helped for them to see me, it helped them start their journey to healing and eventually transform their lives to evolve. I said, I have to share my story. So that's what inspired me to share my story on how I, um, went through my journey of healing to become the evolving woman that I am today. Mm, I I love that. Thank you for your willingness to share. And, And I'm curious because when we, when we share our story, especially if we've held on to trauma or we have gone through some really difficult, um, things, 
we don't always want to share about it. It's not always comfortable. Our stuff can come up. So it's one thing to come through and to heal and to rise above and claim that comeback. And there's a whole nother level of the willingness to authentically share the journey. And I'm just curious, as you leaned into that as a speaker, as a writer, are the things you had to kind of um, come through to be able to bring it forward in a book so powerfully? Yes. So, Rebecca, I I had to address my vulnerabilities. Um, I literally had to relive somewhat of the trauma that I um, went through and healed from. And so my book addresses that human vulnerability, such as, you know, I faced a lot of failures in my life. I dealt with uh, lacking validation from um, key individuals in my life that were put there to mold me, and I I lacked uh, the validation of love. And so um, I... I literally had to relive some of that trauma, but mm-hmm. again, once once you dive deep into um, what you've gone through and know that that you can walk this journey to a journey of being completely whole and healed, it's so freeing. I hope that mm-hmm. answered your question. Oh, uh, that's so um, powerful. I, I love that, and that. You did have to be willing. You were courageous in facing some of those things again and reliving some of them. And it even gave you this additional level of healing and, and freedom. And I I know I have talked with some authors and they have even found they, they developed a new kind of love and appreciation and respect from themselves for themselves too as they looked back and then are looking where they are now and looking forward. Um, they just see things with different eyes. I know I experienced that on some of my journey. I had more compassion for myself, more understanding things that, um, I just saw myself differently and, and appreciated the journey. And I'm curious if you experienced any of that as well. Yes. Um, I would, if I could just explain my Mm -hmm. journey, Sure. Um, I had to, I don't know if people have ever been to an airport and, you know, a lot of the luggage looks alike. And so it's almost like picking up luggage and then you walk away from the conveyor belt and you're, you realize, man, this is heavier than what I thought I packed. And you look down and it's not your luggage. Well, that's mm. what <laughs> trauma <laughs> does to us. We, we hold luggage that we were never meant to carry, right? Um, mm. That was all done at the cross. And so claiming, claiming your comeback requires that you do the hard work of combing through that luggage. And, and my book will help you, will help you walk through that and, and get to true victory. Beautiful. Great. Thank you. I appreciate that. And and what's nice about that is then we have lighter luggage (laughs) as we, as we move forward. Um, So we're able to uh, go higher and really embrace all that is to come and not hold more than we were intended to. So I love that. Thank you so much, Melissa. I appreciate it. We are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I want you to think about what Melissa has shared and See what is speaking to your heart, to your spirit. Just take a couple moments for you to breathe, to connect in, and perhaps see if there are some things it's time to release and some things perhaps you want to lean in and start claiming. And we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes.
Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Explore the poetry of Sam Yao. His book of poems, Soul's Journey, is a number one international bestseller. Sam is a contemporary poet with a unique and highly relatable poetic style to convey the essence of spiritual truths for our time. Readers will find beauty, inspiration, and healing in his words. Get his book, Soul's Journey, today on Amazon.com or visit SamYaoPoetry.com. That's Sam, Y-A-U, Poetry.com. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you really took a moment to sink into that question and really see Maybe there's some stuff you've been carrying around in that luggage and the luggage just keeps getting heavier that perhaps it's time to kind of look through and release and not have it be a burden for you anymore. And that creates room in the luggage for new things (laughs) that you want to claim, that you want to bring forward, that you want to grow. We have been talking with our amazing Melissa Jones and she's been sharing a little bit of her journey of overcoming trauma and claiming her comeback and really now on a mission to empower others to do that. And she's an international best-selling author whose book was um, just really powerfully and impactfully received. And it's really designed to help you all lean in, release what no longer serves and really be able to claim your comeback. And part of her journey of being able to bring that message forward, to bring those stories forward, to lead in the way she's been called to lead. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit, has been her willingness to go through her luggage, to be willing to authentically share her story, to have it encourage and support others and walk beside them. And I'm sharing that just as a a quick summary for those authors out there who are feeling that calling, that mission, that what you have gone through, you are feeling a calling to share, to help lift others up. It's really great to be aware that that may involve going back through the luggage a little bit, allowing space and support to do that. And then on the other side of that, you are able to be freer, and more powerful and be able to continue to impact people. So I just want to encourage anyone who is on that journey and feeling that pull and that call. And just from that place, Melissa, I'd love to see if you have any piece of advice, just looking back on the journey of bringing your book forward that you would share with our listeners out there that are feeling compelled and called to bring their story forward. Absolutely. I would just say be courageous. Um, I know in my journey, it was a little bit scary in the beginning to realize that I was going to share my personal, intimate stories with the world. But then I had to reflect and look back on so many who have um, come back around to me to share with me how my story and my journey helped them. So I felt that I would be somewhat selfish, Rebecca, if I were to hold such an impactful story um, to myself and just to my um, immediate circle, if you will, and not be able to share it with the world and have a possibility of helping someone else claim their comeback. And so I would just encourage anyone um, who's listening, if you have something inside of you, definitely 
Be intentional, be courageous, and share your story. You never know who you could possibly help. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that. And listeners, I hope that you're hearing that, that if your story can help someone, if your journey can help someone, be courageous, be willing to bring it forward. And I love how you you said, you know, I would have felt selfish if I didn't holding that back. If I have something like that, that can help. And so you're willing to be vulnerable and kind of face those, those fears about sharing on that level to help someone. I know when I first started sharing my story, I was really, my biggest fear was being seen and heard and I'd worked so hard to put it behind me and then to stand up on stage or in writing, be vulnerable and share was really scary. But what pulled me forward was I really was convicted and believed that there was someone that needed what I had to share and I was willing to be uncomfortable. I was willing to be scared. I was willing to, um, stand in that space and share if it could help one person. And that's been kind of what's continued to pull me forward. So I love that that's what I'm hearing in some of what you're sharing and listeners. Um, I think it's important to remember it's personal heart by heart, life by life. We make a difference. Anything you'd add to that? Absolutely. It, it, it can be scary, right? And the mm-hmm. best way that I could describe it for me was I felt like I had to go back into a dark space in my life, if you will. But then I thought about, um, I love different flowers. I love, you know, how they look. And so I said, wow, that flower to become beautiful and, you know, be able to um, just change, you know, looking at a flower can change someone's day just because of its beauty. It once was a seed that had to be put into a dark ground, but once it was watered and cultivated, it bloomed and it was so beautiful. And so that's how I looked at my journey when I thought about first even writing my book. I said, man, I'm going to have to go back into that dark space, if you will, of my life. But I knew once I went there, just like a seed being planted into the ground, once the book was birthed, um, I knew that it would be a beautiful flower and that it, there would be so many that would be able to smile because um, I was able to, you know, uh, be courageous enough to to have my seasons of, you know, being in the ground, have my seasons of being watered um, and cultivated, if you would, as I went through my process of writing my book. And now it's a beautiful flower and I get so much feedback from so many saying how valuable the book is and how it's helped them on their journey. Mm. I love that. And as you're describing that flower and I'm thinking of it breaking through to the surface and then growing and, and becoming a beautiful blooming flower and sharing that beauty with others, I'm I'm reminded of your cover, which is also very in alignment and on purpose with your message and some of what you're sharing right now. So I would love for you to describe your cover for our listeners so they can see um, a visual of um, what your book looks like. Absolutely. Thanks, Rebecca. Yes, so my cover, if I can sum it up in one word, it would be a mosaic, right? You know, um, Mm -hmm. I was this, I was broken. You know, I was shattered. I was all these little broken pieces. And so um, separately, I was a mess, if I can just be blunt. I was just Mm. a mess. But then as I um, started my journey to healing, it's like all these pieces were coming back together. And, and, you know, um, I was being put back together as a beautiful masterpiece. So my cover, you see those, there's like broken pieces because that was me at one time. And, you know, we never arrived. Let me say that. So I don't want anybody to purchase my book and feel like, yes, I've arrived. Life is a journey. And so we're, we're all going to always have these broken pieces, but just know you can still be whole with the broken pieces and you'll be a beautiful masterpiece, just like a mosaic. So that's where my cover came from. 
Thank you for sharing. I love that. And it's your picture um, in this beautiful mosaic that has been um, broken and then put together in these pieces. It's very striking, very beautiful. And I, I think it represents your journey so well. Um, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And listeners, when you're thinking about your cover, it's really important that it is in alignment with you, with your book, with your message. I think sometimes we get a little worn down in the process of writing and all the steps. There's always more steps than people anticipate. <laughs> and they we can get a little bit tired when it gets to the cover. But I want to encourage you to remember how important it is. Because that's the bridge to those the book is called to serve. So it's really important that it matches, that conveys the message, that it creates that connection. And I believe Melissa's book cover does such a beautiful and powerful job. It's impactful and pulls you right in. So it has that intrigue. It has that beauty. And it's so in alignment with her message. So for those of you on the writing journey, you want to pay attention to things like that when you're looking at putting the cover together. And as you're reflecting on the journey, Melissa, I'm, I'm curious, was there something in the writing or the launching process that surprised you? Um, you know what? Yes. I will just say my, my strength and courage, um, and I would encourage anyone out there, like, just know that um, you, you were built for this. You have everything inside of you to bring, um, whatever God has given you into fruition. For me, again, it was scary, right? Like I went through some, um, severe trauma. And so to have to even think about writing a book and my story getting out there and how is that going to affect the people involved. It was a lot. <laughs> um, there were some stressful days, but again, um, I stayed focused on the purpose and the sole purpose was just to help people heal, help people um, be survivors. I like to call myself a survivor. I didn't only survive what I've been through, but I, I've been able to thrive. And so that's what gave me the perseverance to keep going on the days, you know, where I wanted to stop writing or the days where I questioned, um, should I be doing this? I, I stay focused on the goal, and that was to help people heal. Beautiful. Thank you. I love that. You, you just really kept that top of mind and reminded yourself of that when you grew weary <laughs> on, on the journey or through the different steps, just remembering the purpose, remembering the why. Very, very powerful. And I encourage all listeners, be really clear on why you're bringing the book forward. Keep that um, in front of you. Write it down. It's important. And as you are forming the book and forming the content, sometimes we can get lost in the words, <laughs> not know what to include or not include. Uh, we're too close. So if we can circle back to that why, it'll really give you clarity and direction. So I love the importance of the why. Melissa, thank you for bringing that up. And I love that you continued to persevere and feel into that why and continue to bring your book forward. So beautiful. And when it was launched and then received and became an international bestseller and it continues to ripple out and you're getting these reviews, what has that been like for you? Confirmation that I made the right choice. And mm. again, I'm so happy that you stated that we have to remember our why and not allow um, doubt or discouragement to stop us from what we know we are called to do. And what I mean by what we're called to do, someone, a future author, is listening to this interview and they are questioning themselves and wondering if they've been called to do a certain thing. And I believe the short answer to that is yes. And 
Um, nobody else can do it like you can. You know, some for me, I'm like, oh, there's there's a lot of you know um, <laughs> healing books out there, but there's no one who has my story, and there's no one who could tell my story or share my story like I can. So just know that. Um, remember your why, and just have the courage again to share your story and know that there is someone out in this world that needs to hear your story. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So beautiful. Listeners, hear Melissa's message and know, feel the truth in it. If you feel that pull, if you feel that calling, there's a purpose. There's a reason. Your story, your way, your voice is needed. And by being willing to take those steps and being courageous to claim your comeback and claim your story and share it out in the world, you make a powerful difference heart by heart, life by life. We are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I want you to lean into what Melissa has shared. Lean into what I've shared. Lean in and see what is touching your heart, touching your spirit. And take a moment to capture that information. Write it down. Interact with it. And we'll continue our conversation in just a moment. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Explore the poetry of Sam Yao. His book of poems, Soul's Journey, is a number one international bestseller. Sam is a contemporary poet with a unique and highly relatable poetic style to convey the essence of spiritual truths for our time. Readers will find beauty, inspiration, and healing in his words. Get his book, Soul's Journey, today on Amazon.com or visit SamYaoPoetry.com. That's SamYaoPoetry.com. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you got some great insights and things that um, struck you or things that you feel that pull. And you know, it's time that I share. I do resonate with that. I'm encouraged by what Melissa has shared and that reminder of that my story matters in the way that I'm made and the way that I can share in my voice. So I hope that you find time at the end of the show to map out a couple of steps that you can take to bring your message forward, your story forward. Perhaps one is getting a copy of Melissa's beautiful book and you can see her cover, some of the things we've talked about, as well as get that support to really empower you to claim your comeback and own your journey and really claim all that is there for you. Secondly, maybe it's I need help or I want support or what are those next steps and really looking for clarity or looking for um, those that can help you on the journey because it's not a solo journey. I promise you don't have to do it on your own. <laughs> if we can be of any support, we would be honored to do so. That's part of why we bring the show forward is to support you so you can look through past shows and get some great tips and information. We also have a resource called the Emerging Authors Series. You can find it on our website, um, but a direct link to it is Emerging Author Series with an S, it's plural, dot com. And that'll take you directly to a series of short ebooks 
that answer frequently asked questions about publishing and launching and next steps and I have it written now what all of those types of things you can choose as many of those subjects as you want to support you on your journey I encourage you to lean in and if we can ever help there's also a button on our website that you can schedule a time for us to talk that link to our website is your purpose driven practice.com that's your purpose driven practice.com and we'd be honored to support you on your journey and melissa you have been so generous with your information and your encouragement and and motivating us to really take those steps to have that courage to bring our messages forward. And I just deeply appreciate that. And I wanted to see as you're reflecting back on our questions and our conversations and all the things that we have been able to share today, is there one last thing on your mind and heart that you want to let our listeners know? And I just wanted to give you a moment to share that. Thank you, Rebecca. Yes. um, As we talked about earlier, you know, we talked about luggage and us carrying around baggage that was never meant for us to carry. And so I just want the listeners to know that locating your luggage is the first mental step that you must take to become more aware and truly realize the wholeness that you have um, within you. Um, And that starts (laughs) with claiming your comeback, right? And so with my book, um, it'll give you a keen insight into identifying your luggage um, through my story. Because my story will hopefully help you identify your story. And so it'll help you put down what doesn't belong to you and practically unpack what does so you can begin or continue your journey to being completely healed and whole. Beautiful. Thank you. And I love that example of the luggage. I think it's something we can all identify with (laughs) and see. And you're absolutely right. A key step, number one, is locate the luggage. (laughs) You can't go through it. You can't see what's there if you don't locate it. (laughs) So that's that's beautiful. Thank you for, for that reminder and that encouragement and leaning in to support all of us on our journey to locate our luggage, to be able to go through it and to really claim all that is there for us and release what no longer serves and what is not ours to carry. And I'd love for you to share how people can find your beautiful book. So if you can give us the whole title, the full title, and let us know the best way to get a copy and the formats available, that would be great. Absolutely. So the title of my book is Claim Your Comeback, Begin Your Journey to Healing and Wholeness, and it is offered on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon and just um, put Claim Your Comeback in the search engine, um, you'll see my book pop up. Again, um, my name's Melissa Jones, the author um, of the book. And, yeah, they can get it on Amazon. It's offered right now both in paperback and through Kindle. Beautiful. So Amazon, claim your comeback by Melissa Jones. Beautiful. And then what's the best way for us to follow you? And do you have any upcoming projects that you want to make us aware of? Yes. Um you, they can always follow me um, on LinkedIn, and it's um, Living Healed Ministries. And then also, um, the best way to keep in contact is just to go to my website, um, which is Living Healed Ministries with an S on the end dot com, and that just tells you about um, the ministry and um, what what our mission is, what our vision is, um, upcoming events, and speaking of events. Um, One of the things that we do, we have a three-day retreat each year. Um, Right now, it's for women only. Sorry, men. I'm working on the men part. Um, But right now, it's for ladies only. And our next retreat will be held um, October 14th, 15th, and 16th of this year. So that's the second weekend in October. And, um, yeah, we have a three-day retreat retreat that's very interactive and it helps the ladies heal to claim their comeback so when you come you'll come in one way but you will definitely leave another way and you'll be able to again either 
start your journey to healing or continue your, your journey to healing and wholeness so you can go again and evolve and be all that God has called you to be. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing and joining us today. I appreciate it. Celebrate the success of your book. I'm excited about the upcoming retreat, and I love that you're going to be doing those on an annual basis and that that seed to support the men out there too is on your heart, so that's wonderful as well. And listeners, I want to thank you for leaning into the conversation. Take a couple moments after the show completes to write down some thoughts and next steps steps you can take. This will really help you on your journey. Carve out that time for you and take the steps. Remember, you it is not a solo journey. We're here cheering you on, encouraging, uplifting, but prompting you and hopefully motivating you to take those steps because your story is needed. Your message is needed. There are people out there that are waiting to hear what you have to say in writing, in speaking, that can only be shared shared and understood by them in your way. So be willing to take those steps and to bring it forward because you, you matter, your story matters, and you're absolutely needed in the world. So enjoy this week. Keep writing and keep sharing the amazing gift of who you are to each and every person you have the opportunity to connect with. Have a great week, everyone. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you for tuning in to The Author's Journey. Please join Rebecca Hall Greider for another edition of The Author's Journey podcast every Monday on the Voice America Variety Channel. And until we talk again, use some of the tips and inspiration from today's show to guide you as you lean in to bringing your message forward. 